Today's a great opportunity for us to talk about some of the Filmac fittings. One of the ones here is our wall plate elbow and a threaded riser. Big opportunity today. What we've got here is we've got someone who's fitted a tap to a post. You can see there it's, a, it's got a leak here because we've, someone's used a galvanised fitting. That's not ideal. Uh, it's on a bit of an angle. So what we're going to do today is just put this all back together and, uh, and get that in much better condition. So the first thing we need to do is actually pull the whole thing apart. So you can see here someone's popped in a, a just a, a galvanised um, uh, fitting here. So if we can get work that loose and we'll pull that apart. And then what we need to do is just using a pair of multi-grips we've got here, we're just going to simply undo, you can see there, the whole thing's quite wonky. Condition, we're going to get that apart, just undo it. Um, and then we can probably go back into the shed later and look at whether we can actually retrieve that tap, but let's just get it apart to begin with. So there we are, you can see there. Now one of the things we always try and do when you're doing this sort of job here is look at whether we can retrieve the fittings. I mean, that's a, a Filmac fitting there that looks to be in pretty good condition, a bush, so we can probably retrieve that and use that later if we need to. The rest of it, the garden tap looks okay, we'll try and retrieve that and use that later. Pipe riser, uh, doesn't exactly look ideal. In fact, if we, it's actually fairly loose, which is surprising, but it has been leaking. Pull that apart, you can see there the thread's quite badly damaged, so that's really not ideal. So that one's going to bite the dust, unfortunately, and we'll be replacing that with a, a brand new unit here and make sure that's all done properly. Having pulled the fitting out, what well, the important thing is to obviously just tie it up and we'll remove that in a moment. Just take a chance to, or take a moment to look at the actual fitting down here, the thread on that. That looks to be in pretty good condition there, so I can't see any damage. So that looks to be ideal for our starting point. We'll go back to that position there and, and we can fit it. Now a couple of choices we've got here today. We can either come straight up from here, but you can see this is some distance away from the post. Not really ideal. What I think we need to do is probably by using some elbows is try and bring it back to the post. It'll make it a far more stable installation. I think that's going to be a much better, a much better uh, position for us to be in. So that's what we'll have a crack at. And then we can end up with something quite a neat, neat and tidy. And of course, also getting rid of that galvanised elbow, which is always going to be a leaker in, in the future. And we can see in there quite a bit of rust. So that, that one's going to bite the, bite the dust and we'll get something uh, in uh, a quality Filmac threaded fitting and fix all that up. You look at the, uh, the previous installation, we had that pipe rise on quite an angle, really wasn't ideal. So what we've done is make up ourselves a little bit of a, uh, a fitting here or a number of fittings just to, to move the pipe riser over closer to that post. So uh, we used a nipple, um, a female elbow, uh, we've reused the bush that we had earlier, so we've made reuse of that, and we've got an MF elbow in there. If I had an MF elbow, we probably would have used that, but again, it depends on what you've got available, what the dealer might have, this will still do the job. Uh, I've re uh, put, applied some thread tape to this uh, nipple here, and we'll just get this installed, and I'll show you in a moment how to apply thread tape. It's not all that difficult, um, but let's just, uh, let's just uh, tighten this up. You can feel there, that's, uh, well I can feel, it's just binding up nicely. We'll take it to that, about that point there, that should do just for a moment. Okay, thread tape itself. Really important to get this right. We need to apply tension when we're applying the tape, and we need to make sure we go, in this case I'm a right-hander, I'm going in a clockwise direction. We do that to make sure when we tighten this thread up, we don't pull that thread tape off, really, really important. You can see there by holding it here, I can apply plenty of tension to that tape. So there's two, three, four, five, six turns of that tape. And so we'll, we'll, we'll pull it off about there. Um, it will vary depending on the fitting. Sometimes plastic into metal, you may not need too much thread tape, probably five or six. If it's plastic to plastic, generally it, it can be a bit more. Great way of doing it is either experience or maybe even doing a dry fit and just seeing how that actually works. So we'll just get that fitting started there like that. Again, plastic fittings generally will take up really well, so we don't need to apply bucket loads of tape. You can see, I can feel it here. That's tightening up really, really nicely. Quite tight there. We get it around to a position here. Now, because I haven't moved this any further, I haven't gone in a backwards direction, I can just move that over towards the, uh, the, the uh, post like that. So, perfect. There we go. So what we would do now is get ourselves a, um, get ourselves a, a screw and get this attached. We'll do that in a moment. The great thing is <clears throat> we've got the, uh, the tap itself. Now, we've managed to take that off which is uh, terrific. We can reuse that. Probably don't need the piece of grass. It's probably a bit of a bonus, but let's just stick with the thread tape at this stage. So again, just work that thread tape around. Again, let's make sure, try and keep it on the thread. It's ideal. There we go. Got some thread tape on there. And 
just fit that into the thread there. Again, always try and start quite gently when you're fitting that thread, that's the ideal thing. So as to not cross thread anything. It's really particularly important with a metal thread going into a plastic thread, it can be quite easy to cross thread and we don't want to do that. Again, you can feel that tightening nicely. So there we go. Made reuse of our tap, made re reuse of one of our, uh, our fittings down there. We'll just get that uh, attached to the post there. But we can see there we've moved it nicely and close to the post. A little bit more protection. More importantly, we got rid of that nasty elbow that was in there, that galve elbow that was leaking. Use one of these fantastic wall plate elbows. A nice new pipe riser. Um, that should be great for years. And you can see it's pretty wet down here. My pants are getting quite wet. Um, but we've stopped all that leaking. So from, a, from an end user point of view, this one is all, all good, ready to go.